Peter, we're standing here in your uh, fabulous new facility here. How long have you have you been in here? We moved in, in uh, well, we got the keys in June and we spent the last five months renovating. And, and now we're here, we're about 90, 90, 95% done. We've just got a few things to finish off and, and we'll, we'll be fully functional. It looks uh, much like a machine tool showroom. Uh, even almost a little bit like Fanex machine tool showroom, doesn't it? Was that your intention? It was the theme. We've always had an, a, a nice looking shop and it's always been a, a place we can bring customers and hopefully wow them with how clean we are and, and, the, and the quality of the parts we should shine through. At JWA Tooling, you have a, you have a uh, facility over the other side of um, this industrial area. So this is your second one. Um, how much has this business grown in recent years? Well, um, physically, we're now 150% bigger than we were. We've invested just over 1.25 million in the last 15, 16 months. Um, so yeah, we, we've, we've grown uh, workforce about 40%, machining capacity at least 60%. That's some success story. What's driven the investment, Pete? Uh, customer, customer demand. Uh, everybody's been very busy. All of our customers have, have, have been, we've been inundated with, with work from existing customers. We've, we've managed to take on two or three new significant customers as well. Um, uh, uh, we've not done any marketing yet, so uh, we're looking forward to sort of growing, growing more from there, hopefully with a bit of marketing. Oh, well, here you go. I'm sure this will work for you as well. Um, as for the FANUC machines here, this has been part of that investment program. Yeah. You're, uh, about 40% of your, your business or your turnover is EDM, isn't it? Absolutely. Three machines here. You have other FANUC machines in, in your other facility as well. How long have these three been here? These three have been, we, we, uh, January this year, we, 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 we took the, 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 the 600 and the 400, and then um, I think August, September, we, we took delivery of the, the new 600. Um, the reason behind these, this purchase, you talk about being busy and the, and the business growing, the demand from your customers. What about the selection of these actual models and these machines? The, 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 these machines fit well in our, uh, our size point for, for, for this, the, the size of the components we manufacture. There is a bigger one, an 800, which we like the look of. Uh, it's probably overkill for what we need today, but we've got options going forward. Um, the, the 400 is the sweet spot for us. Uh, the, the 600 is great with a rotary table on. It's the equivalent of a 400 with a, with a, with a bit, more, bit more space for a rotary. Now, you guys must be experts with it being 40% of your business in this type of technology. I love to find out more about wire cutting and why you use them as opposed to milling machines and uh, what the advantages of, 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 let's say, a FANUC machine is over some others. Can you maybe elaborate on those points? Firstly, the applications that you do. Sure. So, so the applications we do, we, we wire cut hardened materials that yeah, they're, they're very difficult to mill. Um, it's stress-free, so it doesn't add any change any any properties of the metal when when you're wire cutting. Um, and you're denoted by the ed the edges as yeah, well. And the, the tolerance, is, they're they're just they're so accurate. It's, if you need to hold five microns consistently, this is your machine. But there is an argument to say it would be slower than than milling a component. But are we saying that you're doing components that you just couldn't do Absolutely. using milling? Absolutely, yeah. The, the the weird and wonderful shapes, you know, long weird thin slots through through thick parts. You couldn't mill those in, in a million years. There's no way. Uh, you talked to me about tolerances as well. What do you what do you maintain using these machines? We maintain regularly. For, for five five microns consistently is, is is a typical tolerance for, for a typical component we would produce. Because this is the new B series range, and certainly the machine in the middle, the C600 IB, comes with scales as well. Yeah. So that gives you even further improved accuracy. Absolutely. So we're yet to see the benefits, uh, but we know they're there. We've done about three jobs on that machine so far. Um, it's great. It's got yeah. It's got some glass linear scale, so it's got a, an, an increased accuracy over the other two. But, but the other two haven't been a problem at all anyway. So it's just. Uh... And, and other points I want to try and extract out of this is as well for my own benefit and our viewers is the the, the kind of the EDM technology, uh, things like core stitch core stitch function, and also uh, the auto wire feed. They're they're points and important parts of these machines. Absolutely, so if, if for whatever reason you have a wire break, uh, the, the machine will refeed itself. Uh, so, you know, um, if, if, it's, if it's unmanned, it will repair itself within some respect. The, the, the core stitch thing grates because if, you, if, you, if you're wire cutting a big plate, uh, at the end of the cycle, the plate's gonna drop down and land on the head. So you can core stitch a little uh, brass uh, stitches in each corner. However, many, the, the, the machine will help you with, it, with its AI how many stitches you need per the weight of the, uh, the component. So, um, and then in the morning you can come in and just take your part off, give it a little tap with a hammer, um, polish off the brass and you've got a finished part.
And what about the fourth axis you have on here, like an index, so they call it, I think, the DDR yeah. unit. What does that give you? That gives us uh, unman unmanned rotary. So, so you can ro ro rotate a part, you can, you can turn on it if you really want to. You know, if you've got a very hard material that you can't turn any other way, uh, you can turn down to a needle. What we use it for is we make a lot of collets, high precision collets, and uh, the, the old way of doing it was a manual uh, table. So you, each slot of the collet, you'd have to rotate it. There's uh, user error came into play quite a lot, uh, um, you know, a lot of um, manual intervention. Now we just put the part on, it will sense to find itself and it will put the slots in. Uh, the slots will be in the middle every time. So some of these aspects we talk about, like the auto wire feed, the, the fourth axis indexer and so forth, they're giving you the ability to these machines to run unmanned, aren't they? Is that, is that your aim? Absolutely, yeah. So we've got, um, we, we run a single shift at the moment. The, the wire cutters are great because they run for 28 hours unmanned. I think you can get a bigger bigger roll on there, but 28 hours is about right for us. Um, so we can we can put a part on on a Friday, come back on a, on, on a Monday morning, there'll be a lot of parts produced unmanned. Uh, it's it's fairly, you know, uh, fire risk averse. It's, it runs on water. Um, Economical as well? Very economical, yeah. So uh, it, it's a very slow process, but we've got one guy running three machines at the moment and he's very comfortable doing so. Um, Easy to program as well. I know they've got the touchscreen controls on these. Fantastic. Absolutely. Uh, Jack will tell you more about the program, but um, yeah, the, the, the program is great. It comes with a, its own software, which is very, very user intuitive. Um, the, the machine control panel itself tells you when the consumables are running low, what the, what the scheduled maintenance and all that kind of stuff. It's, and do you think as a result of the fact that it's a FANUC machine and it's a FANUC control and it's FANUC drives, all of that is inherent in the success and the reliability of their product? Absolutely. Well, um, hand on heart, we've, we've had no downtime from any of our wire, uh, FANUC wire cutters uh, through an issue of FANUC. You know, we, we've broken door seals and things like that. That's, that's our error. Uh, they've never broke down because of something an issue with something FANUC have done. So these aren't the only FANUC machines that we've got. If you looked at all of your FANUC machines since I think it was 1999, yeah. your John told me, yeah. how, how many days would you say you, or hours have you lost as a result of uh, I, 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 unreliability? I think in 20 years, you could probably count on one hand uh, the amount of days that we've lost uh, machining time. They're just great. I mean, to be fair, prior to these, all of our machines have been second hand. So, but the support from FANUC's been there even on the second hand machines. So when you've got reliability and precision and all those things you talk about, they normally come at a price. Are these machines expensive? Not at all, no. They're, they're very competitively priced um, to the point where we, we didn't even look anywhere else when, when we was looking to buy new bike. Uh, they're, they're, they're great.